Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. Weekly update right now. Uh, if you're here on Sunday morning, we're so glad that you're here. Uh, if you're listening to this on Thursday, we got a couple things, Jake. You know what's happening next week, Jake? Thanksgiving. Turkey Day. Turkey Day. Oh, I was going to bring my turkey um, tail into this and show, you know, my turkey have it sitting right here. Nice. Uh, I can still go get it if you want me to. So, how many of you out there eat ham for Thanksgiving like instead ham. of turkey? I like ham. Or do you do both? You do I, turkey and ham. I say both. Do you? I say you always do both. So, we bake both, but full disclosure, Ashley prefers ham over turkey on Thanksgiving. Man, I just like meat. I'm just going to be honest with you. Turkey, ham, steak. Oh, Wow. Um, is that good? They may need a spoon for this. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, you always grab a right, hey, coffee. We just had five people leave the video. Let's get to some announcements. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, why don't you talk about the Christmas box? Uh, okay, the yeah. Boxes. So uh, last Hawk, night was pretty cool. Yeah. Our so ministry. our kid adventure kids packed up a bunch of uh, Operation. Operation Christmas Child boxes that are going to be going overseas. Be praying for those. Hey, so Ashley told me a really cool story. I'm not going to name any names or call anybody out, but Ashley said, you know, you have some kids in your kids' ministry that are all about me, 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 take, 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 take. I mean, that's just kids by nature yeah. want stuff. And every time we do these Operation Christmas boxes with our kindergarten through fifth graders, Ashley says it's amazing that the kids never, ever ever even like, hey, I want this or I want that. They're really all about packing those boxes yeah. so those kids can get stuff overseas. That is just so cool to me because, I, I mean, I know I'm a taker. I mean, I'm taking all your coffee. I looked in your refrigerator a while ago for snacks. So I wonder how I would it's do normal. that box That's thing. normal, yeah. But and, anyway. Well, we got other things too. Angel this tree. Sunday. Angel Tree. Hawkins Helping Hands Angel Tree Program for kids in our community and families so they can have an awesome Christmas. Uh, I will have the Angel Tree Angels at the information desk. You can come How by. Many of those do we, we only have? have 30 this year. Really? But I but listen to me. 30 angels that need to be sponsored through Hawkins Helping Hands, but I already have about three families, and that's going to grow, yeah, that have reached out to us that aren't a part of the Angel Tree Network, and we can help those families as, as well. So you need to see me after the service at the information desk so we can get these kids sponsored. I've got instruction sheets, everything you need to know, three gifts per kid. Um, you guys always knock it out of the park yeah. every year. Yeah, we, we were talking about this last week at staff meeting and just – how awesome you guys are and your generosity and meeting needs in our community. So uh, pick those up this week, Angel Tree. Speaking of meeting needs, I know Jake was out of the office this week taking care of some business and ministry and uh, ministering to families. And, you know, Jake, what, interesting, uh, on Monday, we gave away like four food boxes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, it was one after another well, after I, another. When I came back in Tuesday, uh, you guys had already left. And I gave away two more. It's amazing. It's amazing. So on that note, I, I want to encourage you to be faithful in your giving and because we're meeting a ton of needs right now uh, in our community, both food, angel tree, just um, this whole deal of people hurting right now. And not only spiritually, but meeting real needs. Jesus, I, I thought it was interesting that when you read the New Testament, Jesus always fed people. And he would meet that physical need and then talk about that spiritual need. And so That's interesting. Um, I, I just I appreciate you guys. And also, Jake, you know, I do a lot of artwork creation mm -hmm. at Summit and uh, create different things like that. I'm fixing to wow you with some of my artwork. You okay. ready for this? Yeah. Look at this. Is that not incredible? It's backwards. I know it is. So when you show that on screen, it kind of looks weird, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can't see it now. Oh, there you go. How text, about that? Text SHFTX to 73256 yep. to access our new giving portal. Hey, dude, isn't that awesome? I like that. That's awesome. Very creative. Yeah. Hey, that's our new giving, uh, text to give. If you've never made a gift to Summit Heights, uh, we'd be grateful if you uh, wanted to do that and partner with us. Help us finish the year strong uh, as we meet needs in this um, community. I know many of you give end of the year gifts. It's that time of year yeah. as we think about that. And so if you're thinking about an end of the year gift, 
ETF, know that we would greatly appreciate that. And we'll put that to incredible use in ministry. Uh, stocks that you have that you want to invest at Summit, we can do that. You can talk to uh, well, stock Brian. Market. Stock market's kind of... Hey, man, don't be, you never know. Okay. You never know. Uh, so anyway, we just want you to know we're grateful for that. Yeah, let's let's be faithful to the end. Uh, it's interesting, and I'm almost scared to say this, but I'm going to go ahead and step out on faith and say this. In 18 years that we've been a church, we've never missed a budget. And, and so I, I just lay that challenge out to you. I know this has been a tough year. This has been a tough season. Um, of, of just finances and that kind of stuff. So let's be faithful. Let's finish this. Let's finish what God's doing this year so we can go into next year and, and continue to meet those needs. So uh, thank you for giving. Uh, it's going to be a great day on yeah. Sunday. Cannot wait. We're in this series called Epic Stories, Stories of the Bible. We've been in the Old Testament this month. We're going to transition up. Uh, I use that word. that word. Bill will Bill won't let us Bill use Wilkins that word. So Wilkins, yeah. So uh, we're going to move into the New Testament in December, oh, and nice. so we're excited about that. A hey, couple things rolling around for for the Old Testament though that we still need to get to. Yeah, we do. I, I, I and I'm excited about this Sunday. It's going to be a great Sunday, and the following. It's just going to be good. Invite somebody, bring somebody with you uh, that needs to hear a story of hope and a story that would encourage them and maybe somebody that you've been praying for that would get saved. What else you got, bro? Nothing. Because Nothing. I've been told these videos go a little long, so yeah. I'm going to not say anything so, else. Hey, Summit, we love you. Glad you're here this morning. If it's Sunday, if you're listening to this during the week, share this on your platforms. We cannot wait to see you. It's a it's an honor to get to serve you and serve with you. So have a great weekend. Hope we have a great Sunday today. Be praying, and uh, we'll see you Sunday morning, 10 a.m.